Avatar is a visual masterpiece. It's unlike any kind of adventure movies our eyes have ever seen. The characters, the musical score of every scene, the story, the beauty of the landscape, the rich variety, and the uniqueness of the flora and fauna of Pandora. Wow! Moreover, this movie also introduces us to different creatures with unique colors and physical appearances. I definitely would want to explore Pandora all by myself. Welcome to Discover, folks. In this video, we'll dive into the world of Pandora and go face to face with the biggest creatures out there. Strum Beast. The Strum Beast, which is also known as Taliorang, is a large buffalo-like herbivore that serves as one of the main sources of animal products for the Navi. As such, Strum beast are a primary organizing force in the clan culture. Strum beast are herd animals and are social and highly protective of their young. They are also territorial and will group for attack against any would-be predator. When the predator is too large or in too great a number, they'll stampede, often breaking off into smaller packs for evasion. The strum beast has a massive buffalo-like head, six legs, and indigo and orange coloring. Its skull features extrusions that are reddish or orange, with striped slashes of blue. The creature has bioluminescent patterns on the ridge and both sides of the body. Hexapede Hexapede, also known as Yeti, by tradition is the first animal that a prospective warrior is allowed to kill when making the rite of passage from child to adult. The Hexapede is one of the main animals responsible for the survival of the Navi being hunted as a source of hides and meat. The hexapede resembles a six-legged Terran gazelle. They're dark blue herbivores with white and yellow stripes. Their small sloped skulls are topped by retractable light-colored fan structures. This fan has an eye pattern on it similar to those found in Terran insects, such as the Luna moth, and serves as a defense mechanism for flashing it to predators that makes the creature seem bigger and more intimidating. In addition, the hexapede also has feathery scent organs on both sides of its head. These organs sample the air as an early warning system to alert the animal to the presence of a predator. Viper Wolf Viper Wolf, also known as Nantang, can sense prey from more than 8 kilometers away. Viper Wolf jaws can exert 4 kilograms of pressure per square centimeter enough to crush bone or even stone. Their keen, intelligent green eyes can see as clearly at night as in the day. The Viper Wolf has six legs, with each paw having three toes and an opposable thumb. This allows it to climb trees as well as stalk from the ground and thereby creates a three-dimensional hunting field. It's mostly black, but is banded with vermilion and iridescent blue. The Viper Wolf, also known as Nantang, is a small hyena wolf-like carnivore that has six legs, a lean, powerful torso, and has evolved to travel swiftly over long distances in search of prey. Hellfire Wasp The Hellfire Wasp, also known as Zize, is shaped much like a typical earth wasp, but is similar in size to a sparrow. Although usually observed flying alone, Swarms nearly the size of a robo-dozer have been sighted. Human personnel on Pandora are warned not to approach swarms of Hellfire wasps as they might see this as a threat display and attack. If stung by this dual stinger insect, the RDA personnel are commonly placed on medical leave for several days. Although rarely lethal to humans and Natvi, it is believed that an attack from a swarm of Hellfire wasps would ultimately result in fatality. Prolemurus. The Prolemurus, also known as Siaxu, is a chattering, non-aggressive tree dweller that prefers the relative safety of the canopy to the dangers of the rainforest floor. Prolemurus are similar to monkeys or apes on Earth. The Prolemurus can reach up to one meter in height. It has large eyes with binocular vision, an ape-like skull with a short snout, small nostrils, and jaw and needle-sharp teeth that are adapted to cut through tough Pandoran flora. 
The Prolamora's ears are erect flaps that can move independently of one another in order to track sounds precisely. The Prolamora's has several peculiarities that seem to indicate that it's sort of an evolutionary missing link between the Navi and other Pandoran animals. Mountain Banshee Mountain Banshees, also known as Ikrang, are large dragon-like aerial predators that are native to Pandora. They're used by the Napvi for hunting from the air and traveling larger distances. Ikrang are also used in battle where the mount attacks its opponents from the air. Bonding with a Banshee and becoming an Ikrang Makdo is a dangerous and required rite of passage for Napvi warriors in some clans, including the Omotekaya. Like the Dire Horse, a Navi can connect to a Banshee through a neural interface that allows animal and rider to move with apparent effortlessness through the skies. The Mountain Banshee is highly adapted for flight. Specially developed muscles attached to the breastbone allow for the powerful strokes needed to achieve lift. Though reptilian in appearance, the Banshee has a metabolism that is bird-like and generates tremendous heat. The Banshee has a complex cooling system to keep it from overheating during strenuous flying. The Banshee has two primary eyes which see in full color in roughly the same spectrum as human vision. Aft of the primary eyes are smaller secondary eyes which can move independently or together with the primaries. They see in near-infrared for night hunting. Great Leonopteryx The Great Leonopteryx, also known as Toru, meaning last shadow, is a species of airborne predatory animals native to Pandora. Scientifically, it's known as Leonopteryx rex, or winged king lion. This creature's name in Napvi translates roughly to last shadow, as its preferred method of attack is from above, with its shadow being the last thing its victim sees. And once they do, it's already too late. The Leonopteryx is primarily colored red and yellow, with black stripes and blue crests on the top of its head and under its lower jaw, though the crests can be albinistic or green. The crest on its head is razor sharp and can be used to injure or disembowel prey, or cut vegetation obstructing flight. The Leonopteryx has powerful jaws which can open at a wide angle, capable of cleaving a mountain banshee in half. Despite their superior binocular vision, they're unable to see directly above them, most likely due to the very pronounced brow ridges above their eyes. This weakness is exploited by Jake Sully, who jumps from his banshee from above the unaware Leonopteryx and tames it through Tsahelu. The wingspan of the Leonopteryx is more than 25 meters, 75 to 80 feet. It can even exceed 30 meters. In the Natvi culture, those who are successful in making Sahelu with the great Leonopteryx are given the title of Toru Makdo, which translates as Rider of Last Shadow. Toru Makdo is, to the Natvi, a mythical hero who leads the people to victory during times of great sorrow. Neytiri tells Jake that all Navi know the story of Toru Makdo which would explain why the clan is instantly reverent of Jake when he returns to the Omatakaya clan bonded to a great Leonopteryx.